welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. Today we are going to be making air fried cabbage salad. So what you're going to need for this recipe is a head of cabbage. I already washed and dried it. Then I have one fourth cup water. We're going to do something different this time with our air fryer. I have this Old Bay seasoning. I have less than a half a teaspoon of butter. So the next step that you're going to want to do, I'm going to show you in this next clip. And I already prepared the dressing ahead of time. So I will leave that in the description and you guys can get the dressing. Oh. I'm going to put that clip in right now and you guys can watch what I did next and then I'll have you guys come back. For the next step, what we need to do is preheat our air fryer and I'm gonna pull out my basket right away. So this is what my basket looks like and all it has is a tray inside there. Some baskets can come out and then you just put it back in. Mine doesn't do that. So I'm gonna add my one fourth cup of water into my basket. I'm gonna put my tray back in and we're gonna preheat our air fryer. Oh, I gotta shut this off here. Okay, so we are gonna bring this down to 360 and I'm only gonna preheat it for two minutes. All right, so while this is preheating, I'm gonna show you what you'd need to do next. All right, so I needed to cover up my window right there because it was letting in a really bad uh, glare through the video. So I wanted to cover that up. My preheating is already finished. So we're gonna focus on cutting this up and I will show you exactly how to go about doing that. I'm gonna cut them in sections and we're gonna only cook one section at a time. And for this video, I'm just gonna cook one section because that's all I'm gonna do for this salad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just take one little slice here and then that's what we're gonna cook in the air fryer. You're gonna want about an inch thick um, sections because that's gonna cook the cabbage all the way through and we want it to be nice and crispy and if you cook a lot of it in there at one time it all that's gonna happen is it's gonna be a soggy cabbage so we don't want that so we want it nice and crispy so I'm gonna take and cut my first piece off okay so I'm not gonna use this, but we you could use that if you would like. So I'm just gonna turn this around so I can cut it a little bit nicer. And you don't wanna shred this in pieces either. You just want one straight cut. Okay, so we want it to stay just like this. And then what we are gonna wanna do is put your parchment paper in your air fryer. I'm gonna put my cabbage in here. I think you guys can see that. So now that I have my cabbage in here, my preheated basket, I'm gonna put that butter right on top in there. And then I'm gonna sprinkle the top with some of this seasoning. Okay, so we're gonna set our air fryer to 360, the same temp that we had it for our preheating, and we are gonna cook it for eight minutes, but around five minutes, you're gonna wanna check it just so you know if it is um, brown on top and we don't wanna overcook it. So you're just gonna wanna cook it to where it has a light color to it, and that is it. So if eight minutes is too much for your um, cook time, then you need to cut it back a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna check mine at five minutes. I'm gonna come back and I will show you what mine looks like. like that looks pretty good. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more crispy, you can cook it a little bit longer. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna 
put on the dressing that we cooked up in the pan. Now, if you want some of the chunks and stuff that are in there from the onion and garlic, then just use a spoon. And I think that's what I'm going to do because I would prefer that. Because that's gonna add a lot of flavoring to it too. So you're just gonna wanna put that right on top of your cabbage. And then I'm also gonna add some almond slices on top. And then just a little bit of salt on top. Okay, so there you go. That's what it looks like. Super easy and super delicious if you guys like cabbage. So I'm gonna leave the recipe for how to cook up the cabbage down below. And I also will leave how to put the dressing and stuff together, uh, step by step down below. I try to do that with all my air fryer videos so you guys can go back to my description and copy out the recipe. So don't forget to go check that out. I also have other stuff down there um, for air fryer stuff if you wanna check that out. I redid my description. I try to lay it out a little bit better for you guys so you can see where my products are, where my air fryer stuff is, and then like my homeschooling and stuff is down there also. If you guys like today's video, leave me a comment down below if you guys love cabbage. I love cabbage and my husband doesn't and none, I don't even think any of my kids do. So I was raised with cabbage, um, like pork and cabbage and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.